my queen. Yet another kingdom falls to your glory. Well, Snow White is one of the most famous fictional female characters. Why was Kristen your choice for the role? <laughs> That's fun. Because. So. <laughs> no, I've actually answered this, believe it or not, I've answered yeah, this a few yeah. times. Uh, it's a little more awkward with you right here, but I will it's just nice. plow on. Yeah. Kristen has. Um, <laughs> <laughs> She has a kind of rebellious quality to her, you know. She has a, a spirit. She's very spirited, kind of uh, a bit wild. I'm really not. And she has the weight of the world on her shoulders. And quite I think that's really what, late, what Snow White has. You know? she's, she's, uh, she is reacting in a very different way to, to the one that we've seen previously. Who are you? Why does the queen want you dead? You should know you're the one hunting me! alluded to it, Kristen, you've of course been part of such an enormous franchise that as epic kind of, you know, sweeping films um, go, how does Snow White compare to Twilight? Um, it's really difficult to compare the two. I don't know, it's hard to compare any, any, uh, any project I've ever done. Um, I, uh, I think, you know, this one felt a lot bigger and, and also a little bit more intimate. We, it was really a couple, it was like a very small handful of people holding the thing together and, and it changed every day and it really was like, it was fairly discovered and um, you know with Twilight it was all about really, I was, I was obsessed with getting every detail right with the book and this was just not the way, you know I think if you're just going to co compare the experiences it was, um, they were just just as epic, absolutely, just in s completely different ways. Uh, the, one of the reasons I wanted to do this was because of the swell that it kind of it has towards the end. Like the last third turns into a full-blown war movie, and um, I've seen it, and I obviously have seen it like I've seen it a bunch of times now, which is strange. But um, every single time, and it, it never happens. That's every time it, it it's that's why I wanted to make it, and so yeah. And your English accent is flawless. How did you master that so quickly? And did you have a muse? Uh, mm, I had a lot of time, luckily. I had a really good coach and a lot of time. She did the work, you know. It's very, a lot of people can get the accent right for a little bit. But if you, if you, uh, if you don't do the work, it won't stay and it won't be flawless. And also, you, she didn't have to worry about the accent not being right, you know. Because yeah. we were writing as we were going. It wasn't like, oh, I've got to go away for an hour and learn this in English. Yeah, you know, she that would have been she, very bad. Yeah. <laughs> and our very own Chris is doing very well overseas. His brother is as well. We're so yeah. proud of him. How do you rate Australians as leading men? <laughs> <laughs> They've got the sparkle. <laughs> um, He's he's been he's been a fantastic leading man. Let me tell yeah. you. I uh, know. I think I think Chris is. Um, I think that, like uh, it's funny because our energies are very very different. And um, I don't know. I think uh, it was kind of it was kind of perfect. Or you know I don't know. If it's it's hard to it's hard to judge. But from an insider's perspective, having just played it, it was always very like. You know, he was like kind of perfect for it, just because uh, you know he is that very classically Australian. He has fun. He's kind of loud, but like at the same time, he's really thoughtful and really like he's really smart. And is it true that you almost broke his nose? No. Okay. Just his heart. Yeah. Yeah. I said that earlier too. I think it's true. He can't let it go. It really <laughs> wounded him. And as villains go, Charlize was insanely intense. What was it like working with her? Insanely intense. Insanely intense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like the screaming matches before every take, um, in which no words were exchanged. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's great. She's uh, she's um, she really does put me like on edge in in a in a in a, in a professional sense. Like I want to stand on my toes and be like, because she's a poker. Yeah. I mean, her whole thing is about like getting reactions and, and, and in a very genuine way and, and it's challenging and it's fun, it's, it's fun to work with like you know I think everyone everyone wants to impress her everyone's always kind of like oh man I hope I'm really good in that scene that I have with her you know what I mean it's, it's most actors that are really good have that 
I heard her say, actually, uh, speaking about screaming matches in an interview, that um, one of your pre-shoot rituals is to, is to swear <laughs> really loudly. Is that true? And does that sort of help you get it's in the zone? A, I mean, it's not really about this. It, it, it's, it's not even, I, mean, I just like, like let it, I mean, it, I don't even need to say a word necessarily. It's uh -huh. just about, <sighs> yeah. and, and not always, just kind of on this. <clears throat>